Hi everyone, this is Jackie. Today we are discussing one of the basic elements of art, the point. During the previous lecture, we introduced the basic elements of art, point, line, shape, texture, value, and color. Today we're zeroing in on the first element, the point. The point is the first and simplest element of visual design. With the addition of even one mark on a blank page, the brain immediately begins to create meaning from this point. We want to create relationships and establish order. If alone, the point serves as a point of orientation in relation to the outline of the page. Your, page, your eye will begin to make a connection and see a line if there are two points. And if there are three points, you will interpret them as a triangle, with your brain drawing the implied connections between the points. This compulsion to connect parts is described as a grouping. We have already been discussing how a point is a basic mark such as a dot, a pixel, or a brush stroke. There are a few other vocabulary terms related to this first element as well. A focal point is the primary point of interest in a composition, and an array is a collection of points. A point can set a viewer's focus. Points working together in a composition may contribute to a more elaborate or complicated idea. And points that are moving closer together imply a sense of movement within the composition. For our first exercise in this course, we will begin by examining the work of the conceptual artist John Baldessari, who died on January 2, 2020. Throughout his long career, Baldessari was known for using found imagery, often photography, which he altered, as you can see in this piece titled The Kiss. Even though we can't see the two people actually kissing in this composition, a viewer can surmise what is happening under the red and green circles. Baldessari placed these circles deliberately. A similar strategy was employed in this untitled work from 1986. The most relevant part of the photograph is withheld from a viewer. We want to guess what's underneath the circles and the blue rectangle, and we might even find it a bit annoying that Baldessari has covered up the most important parts of this composition. You will use a similar strategy in your first exercise. The complete description of the exercise is available to you on Canvas, and I'll give a brief overview of the process here too. First, make sure you watch the YouTube video about Baldessari's life on the assignment page for the exercise. It's very funny, I promise. In step one, you're going to choose an image from a magazine to cut out. Then you should play around with what happens to the composition by placing the circles in various locations. How can you change the meaning of this image by adding the dots? Once you've found a good spot, stick or glue your circles down. Then working on the right side of the composition, you will draw a rectangle the same size as your first image. You will recreate the composition starting with the three dots using paint samples, colored pencils, or scraps of paper, make an interesting composition. You can even make a digital collage if you're comfortable working in Photoshop. Do whatever you need to do to make a compelling composition, starting with the fixed position of the three dots from the first composition. When you're done, you should document your work, name the file with your name, and upload the image to Canvas. We will be looking at these examples together on VoiceThread. Here's an example from a former student for reference. If you have any questions about this assignment, send me an email or ask me when we meet on Zoom. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm excited to see how your first exercises turn out.